Hey everybody, it's Adam Farkas. Welcome to another edition of OD Wire TV. And uh, as you all know, the digital realm has crept into our lives in a major way. In fact, there is a better than 50% probability that you're watching me right now in your exam room in between patients on an iPad or an iPhone, according to our data. Um, so the digital world has, has really come to all of us and people are spending an awful lot of time on their devices. Um, and to sort of meet this need, Cooper Vision has come up with a new lens, the, the Biofinity Energis. And, you know, we've seen it. If you've been to trade shows, you've seen the lens. But today we're going to get a real chance to go in depth and learn about what the lens is and what sort of patients you might want to try to market the lens to. Um, and we have the one and only Michelle Andrews here with us today. And Michelle is the Senior Director of Professional and Academic Affairs at Cooper Vision. So I can't think of a better person than Dr. Andrews to sort of step us through what Energis is, how it works, and where you might be able to use it most effectively in your practice. So Michelle, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Adam. And you know, it's funny, my, my uh, wife and, and son are at the Oregon State Fair here today. And when I listened to how they marketed the fair, they literally said, come to the fair to get your children away from their digital devices for a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and there's probably a lot of parents that use that opportunity to uh, get their kids away from their Xbox and their phones for the in these last days leading up to back to school. But you make a great point. It's everywhere. Yep. And and people are starting to realize that there are fewer and fewer ways to get away from it. Yep. And so what are some of the, the, the consequences uh, to the eyes for being on top of these digital devices all day? Well, one of the things that people describe to us the most and describe to their practitioners the most is this feeling of dryness mm -hmm. and tiredness. And what's interesting is that patients don't necessarily connect that those symptoms are related to their device use because their device use has become such an increasingly common part of their life that they just assume that those symptoms are due to something else and there's nothing we can do about them. And so it's been a really interesting journey for us to understand not only um, how we can support the practitioner in this, but also what kind of education the patients need to make sure that they're also asking for their doctors to help them with this. Right, and you studied this problem for a very long time, and I guess sort of the, 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 the fruits of that study was this, the Biofinity Energis lens. Um, so can you to sort of speak to how the Biofinity Energis um, helps with this problem of tired eyes? Sure, the Biofinity Energis lens is, is built on the Biofinity platform. And so we looked at addressing some of the symptoms of dry and tired eyes through this design. And so the Biofinity Energis lens it has aquaform technology. So this is a silicone hydrogel lens, uh, but that is designed in such a way with this aquaform technology that the eye feels comfortable um, while patients are wearing the lens. We then added on the front surface of this lens our digital zone optics, which is multiple aspheric curves to help out with the tiredness that we have from sustained accommodation or focusing all day at a near point target, like a phone or a tablet. Right, and so how is that different from say, just a plain old multifocal lens? Yeah, so we get that question a lot. Um, what's great about the Biofinity Energis is that it is a lens that anyone can use. In fact, mm. it, it's not a multifocal. Um, the aspheric optics do add a little bit of help there um, in terms of near point, easing um, some of that near point accommodation, but you can still see perfectly well at distance with this lens. Mm. So it's an opportunity for anyone to get some help with their symptoms of digital eye fatigue who are not yet presbyopes. Right, and just, um, you know, I know that a lot of times with multifocal lenses, the users have to really learn how to wear them and adjust to them. Do they get that same sort of um, feeling with, with the Energis lens? Do they have to learn how to wear them? Great question, Adam. You know, one of the things we found out is that um, there is no difference immediately. And the learning was that for practitioners, they are so used to having the patient have this immediate wow experience that we had to help them understand that the benefit to this lens is after long periods of use. When people are complain about the symptoms of digital eye fatigue, it's certainly not first thing in the morning or when they first put the lens in, but rather at the end of a long day when they've been on their devices all day. And so that was an important point for us to help practitioners understand so that they could then communicate that to their patients, that the biggest benefit from this comes later on in the day 
um, after your day has, has um, after you've been on devices all day. Right, and, and speaking of which, so who would you actually recommend this lens for? Is it more for the younger patient? Is, is it for the middle-aged patient? What kind of an age range do you typically see? Yeah, you can fit this contact lens on any spherical patient that you feel um, is old enough for contact lenses, mm -hmm. but not yet ready for multifocal contact lenses. So you have a very wide age range, and anyone in that, in that age group is going to be on digital devices. Um, you almost don't even have to ask people anymore how many hours a day they're on devices. Right. Um, anyone in that group um, who wears spherical lenses and that you feel is appropriate for a monthly modality can wear this lens. And, and we would recommend that if practitioners at least share the information about this with everyone who's in that category. Right. And uh, if you have someone who's ready in Biofinity, is it pretty easy just to slide them over to Energis? It really is. It's the same material. It's the same base curve and diameter. The available power range is the same. It's a very, very simple switch. So I guess, you know, uh, you know, when we set this up, you had a little slide deck, and I was wondering if you might want to just go through that and just sort of show everyone, uh, you know, very graphically what it is that we're talking about. Sure, I'm happy to. So as you said in your opening, digital devices are the norm. And we live in a world where we just don't seem to want to give these things up. Um, if we look at these statistics, nearly one in three adults said they use screens 10 plus hours a day. And that makes sense because we have phones, we have iPads, we have laptops, we have all sorts of technology in the places that we work and at home. Um, so to see that we're at 10 hours a day um, probably is not surprising, but when you see it like that, it really jumps out at how ubiquitous devices have become. Americans check their phones more than 12 billion times a day. That number is just incredible to me. And if you look at the last statistic, more than half of adults said they would give up wine, chocolate, or even makeup for a day, then give up their smartphone. <laughs> um, so we have some uh, pretty strong connections um, to being connected these days. The part that's interesting is that a lot of patients and, co and consumers don't know how this increased screen time affects the eyes. Um, we know as practitioners that blink rates drop when we're looking at digital devices, sometimes up to 50%. And we also know that sustained near work can be a strain on the eye's accommodative system. And these are really two of the big components that lead to digital eye fatigue. When we talk to practitioners, they say that they have seen a rise in eye-related issues attributed to screens and that they're concerned that the impact of these digital devices will have on their patient's eyes. So patients don't want to give them up, and doctors are starting to become concerned about it. Patients want to be educated about what options are available for them because they don't want to give up their devices. So they want to know how the screen time is affecting their eyes, and they want to know if there's something available to them. At a global level, nearly four out of five contact lens wearers want to understand ways to reduce their eye tiredness, and they want to have those conversations with their eye care practitioners. Nine out of 10 adults overall want to learn more about how to limit the impact that screens can have on their eyes. But what's interesting is that only 14% of contact lens wearers report that either they or their eye care practitioner bring up digital device use during appointments. And I think that's really the gap that we want to look at is our biggest opportunity. Patients want to stay on their devices. Doctors know that there are impacts to their eyes. Patients want to learn more. And yet, for some reason, the conversations aren't happening at the frequency they probably should, given the levels of concern that are reported here. And in fact, nearly three in four contact lens wearers said they would pay a premium for a contact lens that reduces the symptoms of eye fatigue. And so I think that's really helpful information to know that we really, as eye care practitioners, have an open invitation to discuss this with patients because um, if they're thinking about it, they're not sharing it with us. And it really becomes our responsibility to help them understand that some of their symptoms could be due to their devices and that there are things that the eye care practitioner can do for them. And that's really the basis of why we created Biofinity Energist Contact Lenses. We certainly saw the trend in increased use in digital devices. Our research with consumers 
told us that they were interested in solutions because they didn't want to give up their digital devices. And of course, eye, practitioners, eye care practitioners didn't have contact lens options to help them with this problem. So as I mentioned earlier, it is a very, the, the Biofinity Energist lens is a really nice balance of aquaform technology to help address the dryness associated with digital eye fatigue and digital zone optics lens design on the front surface of the lens to help with that strain on the ciliary body due to it prolonged focus um, on a near point target. When the patients wear Biofinity Energist contact lenses, nine out of 10 of them said that while wearing the lenses, their eyes felt good. And eight out of 10 of these wearers agreed that Biofinity Energist contact lenses made their eyes feel less tired. Um, and so that's really the, the hallmark of what this lens can do, help with the feelings of dryness and help with the feelings of tiredness that people get from being on their devices all day. Because really, um, it's unavoidable, screen use is unavoidable, and, and people just don't want to give it up. When we talk to ECPs who have now been fitting this lens for just over two years, um, we hear similar feedback from them. Um, they say that patients think that tiredness and dryness is just part of their life, and they didn't know they could do anything about it. Um, they acknowledge that everyone's using technology and digital devices, um, and so ECPs are saying, we don't even have to ask people anymore when they come into the exam lane. It's a safe assumption that they are, and we can just talk to them about what type of solutions are available. Uh, many doctors are prescribing Biofinity Energist for all their monthly sphere wears. Um, they're saying if there's a potential benefit and my patients can feel less tiredness and less dryness with a lens, why not give them that opportunity? Some have switched and made this their go-to monthly product, even if their patients aren't bringing up the symptoms of digital eye fatigue because they may not even realize that anything can be done about it. They, the doctors like the technology. They like the feedback they're getting from their patients. Um, as these patients are now coming back for, the, for their annual exams, they're reporting that they're feeling better wearing these lenses and they want to stay um, in the lens technology and in the product. And so I think there's, there's a lot of information out there and um, a lot of feedback that gives us reason to believe that these lenses are doing exactly what we intended them to do when it comes to helping with the symptoms of digital eye fatigue. Today I brought along a video from Dr. Andrew Newkirk. He is practices in Carolyn Vision Care in Glenview, Illinois. Um, and we just thought it would be interesting to share um, his feedback around the Biofinity Energist contact lens. Okay, let's take a look. When I think about the Biofinity Energist lens, what impresses me the most is probably this new digital zone optics conversation and the fact that it's trying to do something no other contact lens has ever tried to do. So we have decided to position in our practice the Energist lens as our go-to monthly spherical contact lens. So we are, fit, we are fitting all patients into this lens whether they are actually complaining of digital eye fatigue or not. I don't think our patients are very aware at all of the effects of digital device use on their eyes. Just like a patient that has a contact lens that's uncomfortable, they may just assume that that's just a part of wearing contact lenses. They don't understand that there are other options and newer technologies available to help alleviate these symptoms. So again, it's up to us as practitioners to identify that these symptoms are happening in the first place. Now that I've had this lens for over a year here, I've been very pleasantly surprised with how easy it's been to fit. No one is requesting to be refit into any other products. And they're also reporting back to me that, yeah, their eyes really are feeling less tired as the day goes by and at the end of the workday. At the end of the eye exam, I always kind of re-educate them and let them know that they are already wearing the most advanced monthly product that's on the market right now. And we finalize them for another year's supply. Um, as we talked about earlier, Adam, the Biofinity Energist lens is based on the Biofinity lens design. So as we look at the product specifications here, this should all look very familiar. Same material, same water content, the same high oxygen transmissibility, base curve and diameter. The only difference in this lens is the digital zone optics on the front surface of the lens. 
And what's great about it is that it's really simple to set. If your patient is wearing a minus three in a biofinity sphere, and that is their updated refraction, then you will fit them in a minus three biofinity energist lens. It's just that simple. In terms of educating patients, um, one of the pieces of feedback that we received very early on when we launched this product is that because this is a first-to-market product of, of this type, that even though doctors readily understood what digital eye fatigue was and all of their patients were on digital devices, they needed some help with how to have the conversation and how to connect the dots for their patients um, and explain it to them in the chair. And so Cooper Vision has created a number of assets for the practice. Um, these are things that can be used in office. They can be used by the, the eye care practitioner themselves in the lane. They can also be used by staff to help educate patients about digital eye fatigue. There's also digital assets that are available. So if people want to send out e-blasts to their patients or text messages or social media, there's all sorts of things that we can do to help patients learn about Biofinity Energist even before they come into your practice. There's also a number of tools available to the staff to help them. Um, we know that eye care practitioners are very busy, very busy practices, and, and stopping in the middle of, a, of an exam where the patient is happy and is, is doing well with their contact lenses to initiate a conversation with them about trying something new, um, that can feel like, like a stress on time and productivity. And so we've created a number of tools to help the doctor and the staff effectively and concisely communicate the value of these lenses to the patients um, without them having any compromise from patient, uh, to patient flow or productivity in the practice. Um, you can find those tools um, online at onlybiofinity.com slash Energist. And, of course, sales reps um, are available to help you and assist you with that as well. So thanks for that, that Michelle. That was, that was really informative, and I think it gives everyone a really better sense of what the lens is all about. I had a couple questions just from watching that really briefly. I guess question one, do you have a sense of what the demographics are of the typical Energist user? What does that look like at this point? You know, it's, that's a great question, Adam, because what we have found is that, they're, that the only consistent typical demographic is a patient who uses a digital device more than two hours a day. <laughs> if you try to segment it more than that, um, it just doesn't work. Because anyone who uses a digital device on a daily basis is a perfect candidate for this lens. And it's as simple as that. If they're a spherical prescription, and you are fitting them in a monthly modality, this can be your first choice lens. Well, I guess, you know, we, we've uh, learned a lot about the lens here today. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to be posting this video up on OD Wire. So even if you, you're looking at it right now on your iPad or your iPhone, folks, come on back to the website. Um, and we're going to have, you know, comments about it. And I think one thing that I would like to learn much more about is how best to market this to patients. I know you have those great materials that people can use, but I think sometimes it's important for clinicians to speak to one another to try to figure out how best to market this and really see what's working for them. And so with that, uh, Michelle, thanks so much for being here, and I uh, look forward to seeing you online. Thanks, Adam.